Okay, next quick one we'll do today is mirrors. So obviously these are the stock mirrors. They mount, they're solid in position. Whereas these are the cheap $16 eBay jobs that can bend in and out easily. So when you're riding along, you can bend them all the way in one way, all the way out the other way for when you're off-road. So we'll have a go at putting these on and show you how they work. So you can see with these ones here, they can go all the way out. That's your out way, so using it. And then when you want to go off-road, you can wind it all the way in. So it actually tucks in pretty much behind the pro taper, people take. Maybe a 13, 14. Oh, and of course, they're, um, I found this out the other day, they're right hand thread. I'm wondering why I was struggling the other day. No, I think it was. No. I think we don't need to use any of the um, thread adjustment, I think go into the standard one I might see if I can get steal that rubber though okay managed to roll it up and over it just gives me access so you can put it on tighten it down and we should be able to roll it back over the top that'll make it look neat and keep any crud out of the thread how's she gonna be fit when we should be able to that we want it about there that's giving me a nice view behind. You can obviously go up a bit. That's all the way down on that side. And I think by doing this on tight, if I hold this, I think I'm tightening it in both ends. Okay, feels pretty solid anyway, so let's just go with that. Sounds like my wife getting home. Alright, I'll fix that up, but that looks pretty good for this side, and we'll replicate on the other. Okay, so we've got the first one on okay. Just took a bit of fettling around to get it right, but that slips over okay and keeps that all protected. That's all on. So when you're finished with it, or sorry, when you're going off-road, or you want them out of the way, just tuck them right in, and they just sit out of the way there. And then just flick them back out to the full out position. It's quite a nice notching system they have. You can obviously put a bit more tension on that if it starts to wear out, but everything feels good. Okay, our second one's on, rubber's on, fold it back on itself, ready to go on the other side. So they're actually quite straightforward, really. Let's just spin it on. Give me one more turn, get it about where you want it. About there, so that I can push it all the way down. The only thing you have to do is reverse the side this goes in at because they're both made sort of the one way. You just do that, and we hold that at that point, really. And we cinch down our, our screw. Wow, that on there, so we'll sit you there. So we'll keep it held about where we want it. So, pretty much pushing up against that pro taper, get that a decent cinch on there. Roll that back over, boom. So then you have your road set up once you adjust everything up to how you want it. Road set up, heading off road, leave one up, leave one down, whatever, tuck both of them out of the way. It looks like that. So it's quite neat and tidy. You can still see your speedo and everything when you're off road, you're not as concerned. And obviously, if you really want them, you can ruin how you did have them and actually bend them right back and tuck them right in. Might be even better actually, less chance of any sun reflecting and smacking you in the face or anything like that. And quite good, I tightened these down so they're a little bit stiffer to fold back out. Um, and obviously that's something you can just continually do if you find they're getting a bit loose, but they stick out enough, stick out a fair way and you can adjust them nicely. So quite good, so that's the $16. Well, I think I paid 20, you can bark down to 16 if you want to have an offer price on eBay, uh, cheap eBay mirrors, perfect.